guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, what we're going to be doing today is I want to make a Christmas DIY again for on top of my refrigerator. I want to make like a gingerbread themed tree, just a little one. So let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna do this. Um, I picked up this tree at um, Hobby Lobby, I think it was last year. And I have the skew for it. They probably still have it this year. Um, and I'll put that in the description box below. So you'll need some sort of tree, it's wooden. And I spray painted mine, it looks the same on both sides. And you can see it's kind of tall. I spray painted mine with this Krylon Color Master uh, Satin White Spray Paint, okay? And then I'm just going to be using these little um, items that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, these little candy stickers. And naturally, everything is 50% off, but these were $5.99. And then I'm going, I got back into my stash of just little candies, and I'm going to be using my leftover candies, okay? And what I want to do before I start embellishing it is I want to apply some Mod Podge to it. So let me go ahead and put this down. And um, we'll go ahead and I'm going to be using the Gloss Mod Podge. You could use matte if you wanted. But, and then I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit of that diamond glitter again. I don't know where my mind is. Well, actually I do. I have filmed um, three videos today. <laughs> you talk about somebody that is tired. Oh my, but I love it. But man, I'm really tired. Okay. So we're just going to put some Mod Podge on here to get it wet. So our glitter will adhere. And I'm not being real particular. And I'll do both sides, but I'm going to do this front side first, okay? Then I'm just going to open the glitter and just sprinkle it on here. And then it will stick in this glitter. And you can use hairspray and that will keep the glitter from, you know, having a lot of fallout or coming off if it bothers you. It typically doesn't really bother me. I don't get a whole lot. And just sort of tap it. And if you see some place like you didn't get, like right there, I didn't put much um, Mod Podge on, then you can go back and hit it. And a lot of this is gonna be hidden anyway with our candy, but I just wanna give it a little extra sheen. Okay. And I may only do the front, and I know it's really super hard to see, but there you go. It just looks so cold and frosty, okay? Okay, so what I want to do right now is just start, well really, you. Wouldn't you don't have to glue some of these because some of these are these peel and stick stickers and like I said when I made my gingerbread house the hardest part of this sometimes is getting these stickers off the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go dry this very lightly with a hair dryer. I'll be right back. Okay, I just took it in there and dried it with a hair dryer set on like um, low uh, cool and bumped it up to medium. Now I'm just going to put this little gingerbread guy right here. Now he should stick now since it's dry. Okay, okay you will need something to cut um, the stems off of these like lollipops here. All right, and I'm just going to get this really super, you might even be able to pull that out. Okay, but you can cut it off really small, okay? And then we're just going to glue this 
right on here like that. I think this is going to be darling. I really do. It's going to be a great addition to my um, gingerbread decor in my kitchen. Okay, then we're going to put this one right here. I mean, you can do it any way you want. Okay, then I thought it would be cute to put this little, like just have gingerbread men, looks like, you know, sort of looking like they're um, tumbling down through there. I think that would be really funny. Okay, and I'm gonna put this one right here like that. <laughs> okay, and then we'll glue this. And there's really, you know, no wrong or right way to do this. It's just however you want to do it. And then I'm going to take a blue one and put it, oh, I think right like this. I just want it to look like it's a frosted candy gingerbread tree. Okay, and then um, what I thought, like I said, just bring these right down through here. This is such a simple little DIY. It would even be a nice little gift. Put this one right here. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll take this little um, candy cane and we will put it, oh, about right here. I just think this is precious, okay? Then we're going to take this one and glue it right here. I started to put just round uh, those glitter balls from the Dollar Tree, and then I was like, mm, I really want to do something else. Much more candy themed. And if you wanted, you could string um, some fairy lights on these, that would be pretty. I mean, you really could do a lot. Okay, and then this little piece of light candy, I'm going to put, oh, right about here. And then I think I will put this one, oh, right about in here. And then I'm going to take this little gingerbread guy because I want them to just look so whimsical like they're, like I said, just falling down through there. And I'm just going to put him right here. And see how they're just sort of, everything looks almost like that game that you play um, where the little circles fall in. I just think this is going to be adorable. And then I want to take this one and glue it right here. And what I did is I laid it out first how I thought I wanted it. And then I took a picture with my iPad and I'm referring back to my iPad to see what I wanted to do because it's really easy to get yourself off. Okay, then I'm going to take another one of these little candy canes. And I think I want this one to kind of go like that. Okay, get a little movement in it. And then I'm going to take one of these.
and I'm going to put it right here like this. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to take another one of these. I've almost used up a lot of my candy. And I'm just going to glue it right here, like that. Then I'm going to put this one. And see, I did kind of mess up. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. This needs to be right here, okay. But luckily, it peeled right off, okay. It just took a little bit of my glitter off, but that's okay, okay. Then I'm going to take this one But this is such a quick, simple little DIY. If you're doing the gingerbread thing in your kitchen or anywhere in your home, or if you just are in an office and you want to be able to take it, you know, and have just a little bit of something, this would be really cute. And then I'm going to take this last little gingerbread and I'm going to put him I think I'm going to put him right here. Okay, guys, here it is. I love how it turned out. It is just so magical and whimsical. It just looks so happy like a little gingerbread tree. And if you turn it this way, you get all that beautiful glitter. It's hard to see in here with this lighting, but it's so, so pretty. It's so easy to make, and it would make a great gift as well. Or like I said, if you're in an office, you can always do this for your little um, tree. I think it's really cute. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.